When it comes to troubleshooting replication, there are commandlets that you can run from the Exchange Management shell, like the test-replication health commandlet. There's the get-mailbox database copy status. This is helpful because it helps you to see if your mailbox database is being copied properly, so it can report back on the status of your DAG replication. There's a script called the collect over metrics.ps1 script. This collects data from performance counters and it will generate a report on the different statistical data that it pulls in. There's also the new dash mailbox repair request if it's a problem with a specific mailbox. So these different types of commandlets can really come in handy. Now let's jump over to our exchange environment and let's take a look at how these work. All right, so we're on our Exchange Server, Windows Server 2012. We're on the Client Access Server role, and that's okay because we can use PowerShell from any of these servers in through the Exchange Management shell. So the first thing here is that there are a variety of different test commandlets that you can work with to troubleshoot your exchange. One of the nice things about these different commandlets is that it's these commandlets combined with a variety of others that help monitoring solutions to actually work. So when a monitoring solution says it can perform a task and you're working in a GUI, oftentimes behind the scenes what's really happening is a PowerShell command is being run, but you don't have to be the one to run it. And so when it's testing pieces of your environment and it's showing you hopefully a big green light saying everything's working fine, behind the scenes it's usually PowerShell. But if you did want to see the different test commandlets that are available, you can use the get-command type in test and then put in an asterisk and that returns back to you all of the different commands or commandlets that you can use. You can see the module name over here and so you could see things that might be helpful whether it's mappy flow, mappy connectivity and as we look down you see connection, you see cluster resource failure certificate. So there's a lot of different commandlets that you can run. The one we want to take a look at at the moment is the test replication health. Now before we run it, it's good for you to note that we did make some adjustments to our environment. We broke something here. You can see if we go to our Exchange Admin Center and we take a look at the database here, this database is supposed to have a copy over on mailbox 2. You can see that it failed and is suspended. So it's in a state of suspension and this will allow us to actually see some feedback when we run these commandlets. So if we test the replication health, we hit enter. And here we can see what has passed and what has failed. So the database redundancy check, the database availability check, the DB copy suspended, all of these things failed. The rest is working out okay. So you can see how a commandlet like that returns some good information, some very helpful information. In addition, the other commandlet that we mentioned, the get-mailbox-database-copy-status, let's check that one out. Here we can see MB2 that, here we can see that mailbox2 here is mounted. Everything looks fine for the actual database there, but then the second one has failed and is suspended, and you can see some information there. So the first one is healthy, the second one is suspended. Now we could have gotten this information just by looking at the Exchange Admin Center as well, but by using the commandlets you can get a little bit more information depending on the parameters you put in, a little more detailed information. Now one of the other commandlets we mentioned is the new dash mailbox repair request. And what's nice about this commandlet is you can run it against a specific mailbox or you can run it against an entire database. So if it's against a mailbox when you run it, then access to that mailbox is actually disrupted for the time being while the mailbox is being repaired. If you're running it against a database, only the mailbox being repaired is disrupted so the database can continue to be operational. But still, it's nice to know that we have these types of commandlets at our disposal to assist us when we're having a problem. So we've only mentioned a handful of different commandlets, whether it's a test commandlet or a commandlet to assist with our databases or with our replication copies and so forth. If we need more information about these commandlets, we can actually research all of the commandlets through the Exchange TechNet site 